Amur region, River Zaire. Rockets lift off in 2016. Well, this is how the first lift off of a rocket from the Russian National Cosmodrome based in Amur region will look like. Its name is Vostochny. Russia is a mighty space power, which presently does not own a proper cosmodrome on its soil to perform manned space flights. New spaceships will demand brand new launch pads. Russia has begun constructing another cosmodrome. Vostochny is the most ambitious project of not solely Roscosmos. The Cosmodrome Vostochny is meant to confirm Russia's high space status and our leading position in the era of space exploration. It will provide the country with independent access to space for all modifications of spacecraft, including manned ones, for long-term programs of researching the Moon and Mars as well. The estimated area allotted to ground-based space infrastructure makes up nearly 100 square kilometers. It will include a space rocket complex equipped with two launch facilities for medium-class carrier rockets, with augmented carrying capacity, an oxygen-nitrogen plant and an airport. A new town with a population of 30,000 residents is to be built nearby. This place is destined to become a dream come true, architects assure. The Russian space harbor for manned space flights to remote planets may resemble the cities imagined by science fiction writers. Our country has a chance to create what nobody has ever done before, either in the US, France, the UK, China or India. This is to create not only a high-tech center, some common launch ramps with engineering installations, but the very realm where people once arrived at an air terminal, which is to be built near the Cosmodrome's service maintaining center, and found themselves in that town, would experience the breath of future itself. Business centers, an academic campus, cosmonauts training bases and a railway station since the Transip is but a step from here. The Cosmodrome's buildings and facilities need to have a striking architecturally cutting-edge design to exercise an emotional impact on whoever arriving at the Cosmodrome for the first time, which would be sufficient to make the latter realize that advanced technologies, state-of-the-art constructions and up-to-date design solutions have been applied. Thoughts about unexplored space distances will keep haunting every resident of such a place. In summer 2010, Russian Prime Minister Vladimir Putin visited the rocketeer's town Ugligorsk. During a working session, the Prime Minister stressed that from now on, Vostochny is a civil cosmodrome. Social implications of the issue are therefore coming to the foreground. Along with the creation of technological infrastructure, even in a four-story pace, we'll need to meet social issues. The city we're going to build here will be cutting edge in every respect, one that is comfortable for its residents and staff. In the park in Ugligorsk, space-scale demographical indicators are obvious. Nobody is afraid of bearing children here, because when they grow up, they will have everything needed to lead a qualitatively better life. It stands for new jobs, new institutes, hiring graduate students, considerable investments. In general, it will have a very positive effect on their region's economy. This is why local residents are so enthusiastic about this project. Geological survey is nearly finished. Ground areas are defined, whereas the general plan is approved. Rockets, already peaceful ones, will soon be lifting off from this site. Ecologists have thoroughly estimated the future Cosmodrome's impact on the environment. 
The site for launch pads was specially allotted so that it would not affect the unique Far East flora and fauna. This area is entirely anthropogenically transformed. Foremost, it was done by targeted lower ignitions, inflicted either 35 or even just a year ago. A new carrier rocket Rus will run on oxygen and naphtyl, an analog for common kerosene. This type of fuel is environmentally friendly. The Samara-based Progress Design Bureau is responsible for the development of the carrier rocket, while a spacecraft for manned flights is designed by Rocket Space Corporation Energia. It's a good tradition to solve emerging problems by joint effort. Several times a year, representatives of Roscosmos, the government of Amur region and rectors of universities put their heads together to smooth over the differences. The Cosmodrome is bound to become a project of the century, just like Baikal Amur mainline was before. In the meantime, designers and engineers proceed to their studies. The students, who are only starting to reveal memorable milestones in the history of space exploration, will work on the Cosmodrome in five years' time. Having finished the first two grades, students of Amur State University will carry on their education in Moscow and Chelyabinsk. Yet, in prospect, it is precisely the Far East University that should become an alma mater to the future personnel of the Taiga Hidden Cosmodrome. A professor of Amur State University, Dmitry Matvechik, has already built his own Vostochny. A new model is his own creation. Here we can see the launch position, the launch pad, then the area where rocket fuel is produced and stored, oxygen, hydrogen, an industrial zone where repair work and production procedures are to be carried out. The Cosmodrome Vostochny is the key factor for the development of the entire Amur region. The first step is made. A new terminal of the airport of Vlagoveshensk is to be put into service shortly. Its throughput was increased twice, to handle 300 passengers per hour, many of whom will be the Cosmodrome's town dwellers. At the old air terminal we used to receive, if my memory serves me right, around five delegations that carried out preparations and launches from the Cosmodrome Slobodny. We hope that the number of arriving delegations planning to work at the preparation of liftoffs from the new Cosmodrome will only increase. South America. The Guyanese Space Center. The rocket space complex was built by Russian and French specialists. This is from here that a proudly named Soyuz rocket will lift off. It is no coincidence that France chose Russia for partnership since no other country has technology able to provide nearly 2,000 successful launches. One needs to bear in mind this construction's joint experience. That of the Russian part in Kuro, its practice, design. As you can see, there are no heavy blocks. I believe we should take it into account when building the Cosmodrome Vostochny. Vostochny is a Cosmodrome of the next generation, completely designed in present-day Russia. The French have adopted from us certain things when carrying out their program Soyuz on Kuru, while we had an eye for something in turn. We're planning to use their experience in the construction of our new cosmodrome Vostochny. Only three years have passed from laying the foundation stone to the completion of work in Guyana. Five years are scheduled for the first stage of the construction of the cosmodrome Vostochny. The Cosmodrome will become a harbor for reusable spacecraft as well. Vostochny is designed in a way to be able to receive a space shuttle on its landing strip. Nowadays, here is laid the foundation for the practical implementation of the Russian space program for the next half century.